This is going to be a very simple and short lesson. We have already seen a couple of methods related to summary statistics for our NumPy arrays. We're going to see a couple more now. There are several method methods available. You can check them in the docs. The most common ones are extracting the sum or the average or the mean of a given array. In this case, we have a very simple just vector, right? It's an array, a one dimensional array. Uh, if you remember a dot shape, it's going to give us that it's just one dimension. Um, and again, the, the, the most common statistical methods are available right there, like variance, standard deviation, the mean, or the total sum of the array. There are more, you can check them again in the docs. The most important thing related to this lesson is that this idea of extracting some methods or just some summaries out of an array uh, will change depending the number of dimensions you have in your arrays. In this case, we have a matrix, right? Our matrix A, capital A, which also exposes most of these regular methods, some mean standard deviation. But what we can see is that we can also ask for summer statistics in either rows or columns. So in this case, if I do A uh, dot sum, I'm gonna, and I pass axis equals zero, I am doing sort of a column statistic. I'm getting the sum per column. In this case, 12 is equals to one plus four plus seven. 15 is equals to two plus five plus eight. And 18 is equals to three plus six plus nine. So the results that like we're condensing these three rows, right, in just one, that it's the result of summing all the elements per column. We also have axis equals one, which is just um, summarizing, right, all the columns, right? So we will we will end up with uh, a summary per row. We have one plus two plus three is equals to six. One uh, four plus five plus six is equals to 15 and seven plus eight plus nine is going to be equals to 24. Again, either column wise or row wise, you're doing these summary operations. Um, usually you are going to have this idea of axis equals some, something that it's going to give you the option to just perform again per row or per column uh, methods. It's something we're, get, we're gonna see also in our pandas uh, videos later, that we can decide to do things by column or row, but sometimes the, the, um, the meaning of the number of the axes will change. In some methods, axis zero will mean row, and in this case, axis zero means column. So it's very important for you to check the docs of whatever operation you're performing. So again, uh, we can do, for example, the average per column or per row, and the standard deviation of each column or each row. There are also a couple of cumulative methods that will just give you kind of a, an iteration right there there will be iteration and accumulating a, a given operation in this case just a cumulative sum so you start with one then you have one plus two gives you three then you have uh, one plus two plus three gives you six etc you're accumulating right as you're making as you're advancing uh, through this uh, matrix and finally a community product that is very similar Again, this lesson is very short, very simple. We encourage you to take a look at the exercises, right? Especially to see if you can uh, remember this idea of different axes for multiple different dimensions of your arrays.